Good morning, guys. It is officially day three here in the Mara. As you can probably see behind me, Fred and I are about to check something very exciting off of our bucket list. When we booked with Hemingways, they offered us a opportunity to come on a hot air balloon ride. And we have a four o'clock wake up call this morning. Yes, you heard me, four o'clock. And we drove on not the best roads to get here, but having this experience is going to be well worth it. And as you can see behind me, they are blowing up the balloon right now and we're gonna get in shortly. Yesterday, the hot air balloon ride, that is truly, in my opinion, one of like a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's not something that you do every day. And your neck over here with a basket. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. We are in the balloon. <laughs> Our pilot yesterday, he said that he has done hot air balloon rides, many different countries, many different scenes. And he said doing it here in the Masai Mara is the most beautiful place that it is to be done. balloon ride was scheduled to last anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, but because we needed to land on a flat surface and away from any of the animals roaming in the Mara, our ride lasted 75 minutes. The safari trucks followed us to our final landing spot that was close to the Tanzania border and then drove us to our bush breakfast. You do have to wake up very early. You do have to drive on some pretty bumpy, uncomfortable roads in the Maasai land. 
But once you get there, getting on the hot air balloon and getting to see the sunrise and getting to see all of the animals that you've been seeing on your game drives from a different vantage point, it is just truly remarkable. And then after the balloon ride, we actually got to go have our first bush breakfast that the company provided for us. Oh, look at this. <laughs> After our very amazing hot air balloon ride, we were driven over here and we were able to enjoy a wonderful breakfast that was prepared for us. We got to chat with some of our fellow passengers as well as our balloon pilot and even have a little bit of champagne. Now we're just enjoying ourselves here in the middle of the bush before we make our way back to Hemingway's. drive back to Hemingways, we drove through some of the local Maasai villages. It was very interesting to see all of their animals roaming the streets. There were goats, sheep, donkeys, and also cattle. And then on our way back to our camp, we did a small game drive as well. We saw a few lionesses and one of them walked right in between our safari trucks, completely unfazed by our presence. Normally, lionesses within the same pride have a lifelong bond, so getting to see them greet each other was pretty special. Though so we saw several different prides of lions during our balloon ride, it was difficult to capture good footage of them because of the high altitude. So getting to be this close to the lionesses once we were back on the ground was very exciting. also saw two hyenas trying to prey on a warthog, but the Pumba showed them who is boss. I really hope that you all enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Also, if you haven't already watched our previous two vlogs from the rest of our time in Kenya, including our game drives at Hemingways, as well as our time in Nairobi, be sure to check those out. We're about to go on our very first game drive. Are you excited? Very excited. I am super thrilled and pumped, people. Yes. Let's go.